Hello and welcome to another video on my channel here, in which I want to show you how I use OneNote to plan my travels and also to plan locations for my photography. So why OneNote? So first of all, it's a free app which is available on different devices. So for example, I have it here on my PC where I do most of the planning. Then data is synced to my cell phone, to my Surface, which I bring on my travels. So wherever I insert some new data, it's synced between those devices. Another thing which is important is this data, once it's synced, once it's downloaded, I have it available offline. And that's especially important if you're doing traveling. Sometimes you don't have internet, but you still want to access the information for your trip, location information or stuff like that. Yeah, well, once it's synced, I can just access it on my cell phone. I don't need internet and that's important. And yeah, what I like about OneNote is it's kind of easy to use. So I can, for example, with a little plugin, I can directly clip data from web pages. So when I'm browsing the internet, find something interesting, I can just send the information directly to OneNote. I can click it, clip images, links to yeah, locations, to maps, everything I need to plan a travel. And yeah, that's then all in my OneNote. And yeah, let's just stop with this general talk here. Let's head right into an example, in which I show you how I use it. And as a practical example on how I use OneNote, I thought I'd show you how I now plan my trip to Hamburg, which is in a few weeks. And yeah, you might have heard I have an exhibition there. And here in OneNote, you see all my organization so I have some quick notes, photography related notes, some other productivity stuff. Then I have this huge selection of locations and have sorted this for countries. And this is not full. I just started using OneNote for planning a few weeks back. So um, all my previous trips weren't done with OneNote. So this is just the transition now. But I already have imported some data here and I'm continuing to fill it and down here I have travels. So under travels I do the travel specific planning. So information about the travels for Hamburg that's just a very short trip. So I have some general info here, some to do's which I already did. So booking hotel, train tips, the typical OneNote stuff what you would use it for, basically to do lists and overviews. And then here we have research photo spots, which I haven't done. This is what we do together now, or at least a bit of it. Then some to do's for the exhibition, uh, about which I already had some videos. So print selection, print preparation, all the stuff. Then the most important thing, which I also tagged here as an important point was sending the prints to Hamburg. So this is already done. And I also have to prepare a little speech, but down here, that's what I want to show you now. So obviously here under Hamburg, I could put more info, which I need. I could also create sub pages, but here I already have a location and this is just a link up to those locations. So when I click on it, I'll be taken over to the Germany folder in which I have some locations for Germany, for example, Bavaria and here Hamburg. And I've already created one location which is the Docklands, this view. If you've been to Hamburg, I'm sure you have seen this building, which is near the harbor. It looks very interesting. So I definitely put it onto my list. And yeah, and I want to show you how to create, how I do such a research and also what those fields mean and why I have them. So first thing I do, I use some pages to get inspiration. And for example, when I'm on Instagram or some other pages, I always browse those on my cell phone. And when I find some location, which I find interesting, what I do, let's just show you, for example, for Australia, where do I have it? So there I have a locations overview and I quickly just put in the names of the locations I find interesting. And out of this, quick overview, I later create detailed pages. And that's the same here for Germany and Hamburg. Those detailed pages then look like this. And I create those with some helpers. For example, I use a site called locationscout.net for which I have an account. And if you have an account, you get lots of information for different locations, including the detailed geotags. And there are certainly other pages, but just as an example, I thought I'd try out Location Scout for Hamburg now. So my trip goes to Hamburg. So let's see 
what we have. So that's actually 205 spots. And yeah, I can just browse it and yeah, look for images which are interesting. For example, let's just show all down here. This view certainly is. So you see this one I already marked, but this view here, this also looks interesting. I already know where it is, but let's just do a proper planning. So what I first would want to do is get a capture of this picture because it's always good to have a reference to a picture. So I want to get a quick snap of that. And for this, I use the OneNote Clipper. You can install it. You just search for OneNote Clipper and in whatever browser you are, if you click on the site, you can just install it. And what this allows me to do now, I click here on this Clipper icon and then there are different ways to select here. And depending on the homepage, most of the time article is quite good. It gives you most of the text and some images, but yeah, for some pages it doesn't work. And also for this here, I want the image. So I select this area here and this basically takes a screenshot. You see here, I can even add some notes if I want to. And then I go to the destination and say, I want to have it in locations and under Germany and I clip it. And now when I go over to OneNote, it usually takes a while to sync it, but after a few seconds or maybe a minute, the new page will appear. So there it is. Here we now have the image also with a link to the page from which it was cut. The Hamburg Warehouse City. I can clean the title up a bit and I can move it as a sub page of this Hamburg. So it's nice organized. So I have Docklands, I have this warehouse. And now what I want definitely is the location. So let's get back to Location Scout. Scroll down a bit and as I said, if you have an account now logged in, you get the location information down here. And what I want is this longitude and latitude. I copy it and then I go to maps and yeah, I can just paste it there and it will take me to the same location. And now again, I want to basically clip this, but let's again put this here accidentally removed it. So I want to again clip this and in this case I want to just get the URL. So basically the link to this map region. Yeah and again I put it into the locations and let's go back to OneNote now. So here it appeared again. Let's first move this down a little bit and go to this clipped link here. And I want to just cut this one and put it here on the top. So now we have those two items and let's look at the dock lens. You see, I have the same, the maps, an image, but up here I also have the coordinates. So why did I put this and why do I also have to do it here? But first let's quickly delete this. So this link, when I click on it, will take me directly to Google Maps, to this location but this will only work when I have internet. So also on my cell phone, if I bring up one note, everything is synced and I also have this link. When I click on it, it works as long as I have internet. But when I'm offline, this link will not work. What I have to do instead is I copy the coordinates here. I go back to OneNote and I insert it in a separate field and I can also make it a little bigger and now what this allows me to do when I don't have internet, what I can always do for a city I visit or even a country, I can download offline maps. I can do this for Google, that's no problem. And then when I don't have internet, what works with those offline maps, I can just copy this, go back to maps. Let's just delete this, zoom out a bit. And yeah, I can now search for those coordinates and will take me there directly. And this works even with offline maps if you don't have internet. So this way, the information you have in OneNote works if you're in the, if you have internet access, you can just click on the link, which is very fast. 
If not, you can copy and paste that. So that's very tidy information here. And what I could also do, I could add some more notes here, when to photograph it, all the information and I have it in one place. Now, in addition to that, what I usually also do, let's go back here to the maps. I also save this marker directly and star it. So the start places for me are basically photo spots. And the good thing about those start places, they are also available offline. So if you have maps on your phone, have those maps offline, you'll see those start places basically having both of that. Now here the start places, but then also OneNote gives me a good base for yeah, my trip. And obviously I have to add a few more locations here. Also, there are other ways you could plan your locations. So aside from this normal Google map here, another way you could plan your trip, and I've seen other photographers do that, is using those Your Places option here, where you go to Maps, and you create a custom map, which takes you to kind of another map where you can pin locations, you can add images there and some information, and yeah, while this works very nicely, it has a caveat, which is you don't have this information offline. At least I haven't yeah, managed to get this into my Google Maps application on my cell phone, so I can assess it, access it if I don't have internet. And yeah, this kind of defeats the purpose of the way I want to plan my trips. I want to have all the information offline. So as I showed you in OneNote, I can easily go to the maps, navigate to areas, get the information about the different locations, see the photos, all without having internet. That's basically it for this video. I could now also pin some other information, maybe guides to locations. I certainly work on this database here. I've just started working on it. As I said, I didn't use OneNote for a long time, but yeah, as I now discovered it, I kind of don't understand why I didn't use it because then all this would already be filled and I could just cross-link it. And yeah, that's maybe the last thing I want to show you now that I have created this new location here. I can just click, right-click here and um, I copy the link to this page. Now I go back to the travels to Hamburg and I can just insert the reference. And now I have the trip planning here and down here I have the locations and when I click to that, it directly brings me over to the locations. But this way you have a nice database for planning your trips. So you plan your locations independent of the trips, then you plan your travels and yeah, just link the locations which you want to visit during that travel. So I hope you liked that. If you also have some workflows for planning your trips, just leave a comment. I'm always interested to learn some new ways to, yeah, to plan trips and stuff like that. And also don't forget, leave a thumbs up and yeah, see you soon. Bye.